This is the News Channel 5, 6 o'clock report. Plus a foreign flavor of this year's fanfare. I'm Dan McDonald at Fanfare. From Bangkok to Berlin, international interest in country music is booming. We'll tell you all about it coming up in a live report. Well, country's beat not only has a lot of toes tapping in the States, it's having the same effect in a lot of other countries. Journalists from all over the world are part of the 25,000 people in Nashville for Fanfare. And News Channel 5's Dan McDonald is with us now from what is truly, Dan, I understand, the International Country Music Fanfare. That's right, Chris. It's not really just a fancy name. It's really reality here. This is very much an international country music uh, festival. People are from all over the country are here. Many foreign journalists are here. It's very easy as you walk around this festival to hear a variety of foreign languages from German to French to Japanese, but they all speak the language of country music. We have tours available for you. If you're interested in one of our tours, you can purchase tickets for those at the green and white striped tent. At Fanfare, the fans wait in line for everything. The journalists wait in line, too, to get credentials and such. And this year, the line is longer than ever and more diverse. It helps to know a second language or even a third. More than 600 journalists are here from all over the globe. Germany, France, Japan, and other faraway foreign places. We're here from Jersey, yes. Um, yeah, country music's even big in Jersey these days. Thanks to the emergence of new stars like Garth Brooks, it's hot in all the states and all over Europe. It's new, it's modern, it's going on something, and particularly in Switzerland, country music gives you the feeling of friends. And the foreign journalists say they're working hard at fanfare, or is that hardly working? It's work, it's hard work. It's going back to England. <laughs> but Fanfare will help them send plenty of country music stories back overseas, hyping the new stars and Nashville. I think it's absolutely tremendous. It's a wonderful atmosphere. It's a wonderful celebration of country music and, and the chance to bring all the fans together so they can meet their stars, get their autographs, have photographs taken with them. It's a wonderful public relations thing for Nashville and country music in general. And there are more foreign journalists here than ever before, and the many reporters we talked to say that country music's appeal really started to boom several years ago and continues to gain momentum, and Chris, they say it's far from peaking. Dan, why do they think country music is booming in Europe and elsewhere? Oddly enough, Chris, they say they think that it's really starting to take off for the same reasons it's booming here. There's a growing disenchantment with many middle-aged music fans with the dominance of rap and dance music on popular, popular radio stations over in Europe, and the emergence of so many new and exciting country stars here like Garth Brooks and Travis Tritt. And it's just plain fun to listen to, too, isn't it? That's right. <laughs> Tap your toes to it. <laughs> Thank you, Dan.